and we are very fortunate today to have Eric Brace and Peter Cooper here in the studio with us. You guys want to say hello? Hey! Hello, everybody, out there in Radio Land. Absolutely, and they, Eric and Peter will be playing tonight at the Mockingbird in Stanton starting at 8.30, so we hope all the listeners out there on the Internet and listening live will go in and get some air conditioning and listen to that uh, great music. So uh, I think Eric and uh, Peter are going to play a song for us without much further ado. Is that right? Yeah. Sure enough. Anything you want. Let's um, well let let's start with a brand. Let's do a world premiere. Yeah, absolutely, Peter. Bring uh, bring on something that tells sure. people a little bit about you. Okay, here we go. The whole life story. I used to live in Rock Hill, South Carolina, South Carolina. I'm glad I'm not living there still. I feel much better now. I used to work at a school. Verb conjugation, diagram and sentences. Wartime, I feel like a tool, but I feel much better now. See their feet, but I feel much better now. I worked at a radio shack at the Hillcrest Mall on the east side of Spartanburg. A couple thousand hours that I wish I had back. Yeah, I feel much better now. Chesapeake Bay Seafood House, up in right. Northern Virginia. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have a buffet table where the people could just, you know, refill. You had, you had, there was a waiter there, and you, just, and you would bring out smaller and smaller portions to people who were hungry and agitated. They keep flagging, flagging you down. Why don't you yeah. bring me yeah. three catfish fillets this time instead of five? <laughs> yeah. Well, sir, the boss said I had it. Why don't you tell your boss? Yeah, it didn't work out real well. So but that yeah, place is out of business, believe it or not. I can't believe yeah. it. <laughs> and he mentioned Spartanburg. We walked in here. We see the Marshall Tucker Band album and uh, the Uncle, Uncle Walt's, Walt's band. band. You said you might be doing a little bit of uh, Spartanburg music later. Absolutely. We'll, uh, we'll play a little music later and uh, sort of a tribute to uh, a book that I think Peter's put together, right? Called Hub City Music Makers? Yeah. Yeah. For, for some reason, the uh, town where I'm... I guess I'm, I've been a lot of places, but the town where I consider myself to be most from is Spartanburg, South Carolina, and, and uh, it has a pretty extraordinary music history uh, for reasons that no one's been able to totally explain. But uh, <laughs> There was it, nothing else to do in, the, well, in Spartanburg. I have heard that explanation proffered, and I will note that Lubbock, Texas is another town with a pretty extraordinary uh, music With nothing history. else right. to do, yeah, good but, point. Uh, but yeah, it's a town where... Uh, 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 Marshall Tucker Band and Marshall Chapman and Uncle Walt's Band and Pink Anderson, the bluesman for whom, uh, uh, from whom Pink Floyd got part of their name and uh, Hank Garland, the great guitar player and, and uh, gosh, there, there's just so, so many uh, great musicians from Spartanburg and so I wrote a book about 
that uh, and just kind of trying to shine a light. And now there's a Spartanburg music trail when you go there and you can see historical markers and, and my uh, 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 my Malif Malif Malif. voice uh, tell, tells you the story about it as you walk along. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. Well, uh, you guys are, people can go on the web and they can find the Hub City Music Trail and they can find uh, Peter Cooper's book there as well and at better bookstores near you. Uh, and you guys have been involved in another project lately, um, the Grammy nominated I Love, Tom T. Hall's songs yeah. of Fox Hollow. We're yeah. Grammy losing artists. Oh. We put that out on uh, my label, Red Beat Records, it came out last year and to our astonishment, it did get nominated for a Grammy for the best children's album. It's called I Love Tom T. Hall's Songs of Fox Hollow, and that means that it's a tribute to that record, Songs of Fox Hollow, that came out in 1974. And uh, Peter had, I have to admit, quite a brilliant idea to go back to Fox Hollow, talk Tom T. Hall into letting us re-record the songs, and uh, we called up some folks that we know, and we knew that they loved Tom T. Hall, people like Buddy Miller and Patty Griffin and Bobby Bear and Elizabeth Cook and all kinds of people, and they came in and sang a bunch of those songs, and we couldn't be prouder. It's it's an album that was initially intended, he said, for children of all ages, and so it, it's uh, it was something that uh, uh, when it, when my child was being born, my wife was worried about things like you know where are we going to put a nursery and things like that. I, I want to say I was more <laughs> concerned about what song he would hear first, and I decided it would be "I Love" by Tom T. Hall, and that got me thinking about, well, I grew up on that album and it was so meaningful to me as a child and, and remains so that I just thought, well, let's, let's, let's honor Tom T. Hall by completely re-recording it, you know. <laughs> hey, we love these songs and the way you did them. Let's, we want to redo them in front of you. Uh, but it was re really quite an extraordinary uh, experience to, to stand next to Patty Griffin playing, I'm playing a little acoustic guitar thing and she's just pinning me to the wall with these amazing, like, laser vocals and, uh, so and looking beautiful. out at Tom T with a little tear running down his cheek as he's watching all this. He really was. Uh, he was he was tearing up. And this was at Fox Hollow because he has a studio in his home, which is about 10, 15 miles south of Nashville. And, and people can go to the Red Beat uh, Red website. Beat Records, yep. Red Beat Records, mm -hmm. www.redbeatrecords.com. Red Red and it's the beat like the beat you can eat, uh, right. not the... Uh, Drum beat. That's got right. a nice rhythm to it, and there's a lovely video about the making of the CD. That's right. The there is. We're really so. proud of that, and it uh, it sort of gives a sense of the of the real joy and pleasure we we, we had that those three days in June when we were down there tracking. Everybody, it was just really fun, and and the Tom T and Dixie were bringing us chili and biscuits, and it was just an extraordinary. It, it was it was a neat tribute projects are uh, usually neat things anyway because everybody likes to try to pay homage sure. to the folks that they dig, but it was one thing to call Patty Griffin and say, hey, do you want to do a Tom T song for a, you know, for a tribute? And I'm sure she would have been quick to, to say yes to that, but it's a whole other thing to go, you want to hang out at Tom T's house and sing his songs to him for yeah. a few days and, and, and just have fellowship, really. We were pretty happy. That was just, uh, that <laughs> version of, this, of that song was just nominated by the Americana Music Association people as uh, for one of its songs of the year. And we'll find out in September if it's a if it's a winner or if it joins the rank of uh, right. of losses like the Grammy right. loss. I prefer right. to think of you guys as Grammy runner-ups. Thank you. Yeah. No, we're teasing. We loved it. We it's just great. We couldn't believe it got that much attention. So tonight you guys will be at the Mockingbird in Stanton, starting what a neat at eight thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Want to remind people to go on down for that. And um, how'd you like to play another song for us? That'd be great. Sure. Do you want to? Uh, what would you like, Mr. Brace? Capo three. Capo 3. <laughs> Which is not a song title. If you're playing along at home, folks, Capo <laughs> yeah. 3, I'm not sure what position we're going to be in. But, uh, oh, that's a good one. This one is uh, off the uh, first album that we did called You Don't Have to Like Them Both. And uh, it's one I wrote called I Know a Bird. I know a bird, she sings for me. I know a bird, she sings for her. Late at night, she sings for me, but she's far, far away. When I'm down, I feel in love. When I lay down, I feel her love. But 
stars late at night They're colder than cold I feel like I've been counting Every grain of sand Every grain in the desert Where I'm quickly growing old Growing old When I'm back will you know me When I come back will you know me